TriplePundit.com here at the Fortune Brainstorm Green 2013 conference. And I'm here with Jim Gowan. He is the CSO of Verizon. And Jim, I understand the position's been around for a few years. What's it mean to be the CSO at Verizon? So uh, it's absolutely outstanding. It's the best position I could have never mm -hmm. asked for. Uh, I have a dual responsibility to Verizon. I handle our global supply chain, mm -hmm. our forward and reverse logistics. And then in the afternoon, I put on the green hat, and I'm responsible for uh, making uh, Verizon as green as we can. And we really look at it really in three ways, people, process, and products. Mm -hmm. So the products we bring to the market, whether it's our 4G uh, LTE service or our fiber optic backbone network or the people we have that run our green teams, 13,000 volunteers around the globe, mm -hmm. and, or the uh, process we use, such mm -hmm. as renewable energy and on sites mm -hmm. that we've uh, done uh, quite a bit in the last few years. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of that, you've had an announcement recently. You've got a big deal with, with a fuel cell system and, a, and some other stuff at your facilities. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, just today we announced uh, Verizon has continued it co its commitment to sustainability, and we've announced a $100 million commitment to on-site self-generated green energy. And it's a combination of fuel cells as well as solar uh, panels that'll be generating uh, 19 of our facilities mm -hmm. in seven states around the United States uh, and uh, we're really excited about it. No kidding. So what kind of facilities are these? Office buildings, data centers? What's the mix? That's the best part of the story. What we've done with this initiative is we're focused on a little bit of all. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have uh, solar and fuel cells going into our data centers, most specifically in Freehold, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. We're going to have solar panels uh, that are going to drive uh, one of our largest data centers in the world mm -hmm. out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have solar and fuel cells going into our operations headquarters mm -hmm. in Basking Ridge, New Jersey, mm -hmm. where over 4,000 employees are. Mm -hmm. But we haven't stopped there. We've looked in uh, the five boroughs in New York. We're going to be putting in uh, fuel cell technology at our switching or central offices mm -hmm. uh, and really looking across the broad spectrum of Verizon properties to show that these solutions work regardless of where they are. Mm -hmm. And um, this hundred million dollar investment, was this a, a difficult sell for you in the, in the company um, or was it seen as a common sense investment? How was the, how was it the, the concept received and uh, and uh, executed? Well, we really we looked at it from three ways. First and foremost, running the best wireline and wireless networks uh, in the world, the number one thing is reliability and resiliency. Mm -hmm. And we focused on that bar none. After Superstorm Sandy, which hit New Jersey and New York very hard, our networks performed fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we had to focus on making sure we, they performed even better next time. Mm -hmm. So resiliency was number one with the business case. Second was the business case around return on investment. And that was a key aspect of it. And then third uh, was really, it's the environment. Mm -hmm. And it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we drive shareholder value first and foremost. Mm -hmm. We are a for-profit company. Mm -hmm. But being in 160 countries, having 192,000 employees, we have a social responsibility to act in the communities where we work and live mm -hmm. in a socially responsible way. Mm -hmm. And have you been able to make any kinds of measurements about what percentage of power this is going to supply, uh, <clears throat> what kind of carbon impact this might have, even perhaps some kind of social impact? What are the metrics that you're looking at in order to get the beyond the financial ROI? So our number one metric that we look at is our carbon intensity metric. Mm -hmm. And in the simplest terms, that is the growth of terabyte throughput through our networks divide it by what it takes to run the networks. Mm -hmm. We have made a goal for 2020 to reduce our carbon impact, uh, our carbon intensity impact by 50%. Mm -hmm. This is just another step in that process mm -hmm. that we're going for. And it, it doesn't stop there. And, you know, we are about 37% of the way through. This type of initiative is going to help us take us to the next level. Fantastic. Jim, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Kevin.